Hi y'all, it's Coach Becky here from A Better You with Coach Becky. Today I'm excited to share with some other YouTubers. Um, thanks to Katie from the Iron Heart Mama for inviting me to join in and y'all check out their videos too. I'm gonna be sharing of what are some of the things that I'm making, cooking, eating during this uh, quarantine time, the quarantine kitchen. Um, really? It's not uh, an excuse to fill our bodies with trash. So I just want to encourage you that it can be done. Um, I'll talk about a few things that, yes, what we are eating, a few things that I was able to pick up on my last grocery run. I'm a bit of a prepper, so um, I did have a full pantry, freezer, and refrigerator before all of this crazy um, coronavirus craziness has been going on. So my last grocery run, I did pick up bought four big cans of green beans. Um, we do have a lot of veggies in the freezer, so I did not have to stock up on the veggies. Um, but yes, okra and broccoli from the freezer. I bought four big heads of cabbage. I just shred this with my food processor. I use those um, in cabbage recipes, cabin sauce, Reuben in a bowl, egg roll in a bowl. Um, those, it's great, and the, it gives us multiple meals. We're a family of five, so I know it will look different from household to household. Um, with the green beans, I fix one of these big cans and it gives us multiple meals. Um, I was able to get fresh mushrooms. I've used them all now. Last night, I sauteed the last of them. But I do a whole full big skillet. Um, last night, we had, a, had it as a side dish with our enchiladas. And now, the rest of the week, or if we get tired of green beans, I can just put it in the freezer. We just reheat in the microwave. Another um, produce that lasts a good long while is zucchini. So I picked up a couple extra packs of zucchini and squash. So that's what we're doing for vegetables. Oh, and of course lettuce. I love my salads. So this salad lettuce was bought March 12th at Costco. I like the short little stalks. Um, normally, you know, I would be like, you know, if you're a drive through Sue, go ahead and buy that bagged lettuce that's ready to eat. But now we've got all kinds of time on our hands and this stays fresh in the refrigerator much longer than cut lettuce. So um, avocados is another thing. Our family loves avocados. And the last grocery run, I bought 10. I just cut this in half so you could see how fresh it still is. Um, refrigerate them after they've ripened on the counter. Once they're soft, not even like completely mushy, you want to get it just when it starts to soften and store those in the fridge. So I still have we have at least a uh, half a dozen of avocados available to us. Um, fruit, my last grocery run, I bought like five bags of apples. Otherwise, um, we are eating fruit from the freezer. I did buy fresh, but it's gone now. Family of five, the fresh strawberries are gone. We made baobab um, lemonade popsicles. So that was the last of the fresh strawberries, but I do still have berries in the freezer. I bought big bags of cherries. We love smoothies. And I'm a big one for smoothies, so even if I have one meal a day that is a smoothie during this time, that really helps um, me. I love to use Trim Healthy Mama's collagen and whey protein. And right now, THM does have a big a bundle sale going on of these three products that they've put together. And you can save like $27 by buying all three together right now. Baobab is, all three of these are great immune boosters, but Baobab is real high in vitamin C. So not only have we been using this, putting in smoothies when we can, but um, we've made uh, little gummies, that recipe's in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, but we put it in our lemonade and our tea. You can see on my website, have boosted oolong tea, and that's how I for sure get my Baobab in every day. So, um, that's fruits and veggies, what we've been doing for protein. I do have lots of freezer space, so I didn't have to um, worry about finding meat. A lot of people were having a hard time finding meat in the grocery store because the shelves were empty. Um, so my husband is a hunter, so my husband and my son both had gotten a deer this past year, so we have venison in the freezer. And then also from my local bulk food store, I have sausage in the freezer, and then the um, meat items like chicken sausage links and those kind of things that I buy from Costco or Aldi. I um, have a big stock in the freezer, ground chicken, 
shredded chicken when I prep, uh, you can see on previous videos, how I prep my chicken breasts and then I freeze it already shredded. And that's another thing we've been doing with the avocados, adding the avocado with the shredded chicken to make avocado chicken salad. And you can find that on the website. Other things that I keep in my freezer, um, if it's quarantine or not, um, we have like 12 loaves of bread in the freezer. It's one of those things that I usually grocery shop that I don't have to go every week. And if I do have to pop in, I just, you know, get a few items. And also I shop multiple stores, but not every week, not every month. So items like Duke's Mayo, for example. Um, my Kroger doesn't have it, so I go to Walmart. And when I'm there, I buy four jars. And while I'm there, I'll go ahead and pick up those hard to find items like Joseph's Lavish or the True Lemon Lime Packets, things like that. And most of those things have a good shelf life or I just put them in the fridge. So um, other things that I bought on my final grocery run was ingredients for ice cream. Our family loves ice cream. And as you all know, I have ice cream recipes, most of you know. Um, so I bought a gallon of whipping cream, a gallon of half and half, um, almond milk. I bought refrigerated almond milk and shelf stable almond milk just in case so we wouldn't be without milk. And um, cottage cheese, so far we've gone through six batches of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ice cream, but I still have a half gallon of everything in our extra fridge. So thankfully we will have ice cream. Can't be without that. Um, so I'll uh, show you around in my refrigerator and pantry just to give you a few more ideas. And there's the refrigerator. It's looking a little bit bare, but we still got lots of food. Still have lots of protein choices cheese the kids love cheese um brought the sourdough starter back to life so we're eating waffles my discard sourdough they're the gummies the lemon gummies and then ice cream ingredients oh sourdough pretzels sourdough pizza we just had a lot of good stuff with that sourdough um my faithful lemon juice from costco and some yummy bone broth And I cooked up a couple spaghetti squash to have on hand too. That way mama has an option. My normal essentials. You need lots of peanut butter and lots of chocolate. It's funny, before all of this started, I had just restocked my chocolate. My baking supplies and goodies. Same way with the flour and the oatmeal. Coconut oil, raw honey, condiments and we've been using a lot of condiments. We started with four bottles of mayonnaise, people, and now there's one because we've had so many condiments for the chicken fingers, etc. Snacks, cheese curls are not mommy snacks. Oh, and things like applesauce pouches. I've bought multiple boxes, but I put them in boxes in the garage so that way the kids don't eat them all. You know, if it's there, you just keep on eating it. It's the same way for mama. Sometimes I gotta hide some of my chocolate. This is in my deep freeze. That's all okra. That's venison, cauliflower rice, loaves of bread, ice cream maker inserts. This is my garage fridge. We have chickens, so we have lots of eggs. Um, extra ice cream ingredients and drinks. More apples and cabbage. Oh, sweet potatoes are another thing that lasts a good long while. So that's the bag of the sweet potatoes. And then um, knowing that we might be in quarantine over the holiday, Easter, I got lots of cream cheese for desserts. And then with having lots of kids, so there's more cheese hiding out here. Snacking cheese, because if it's all in the house, then we just eat it. So cheese for them. Trim Healthy Mama baking blend. More baking blends and also Trim Healthy Mama protein bars. So you can store those in the fridge or store those in the freezer. Do not keep them in your pantry. Extra beef sticks and then more tortillas. And this is my upright freezer. More veggies, peas and carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, okra, cranberries, more bread. 
um, shredded chicken for recipes, and then tilapia and salmon. Lots of cheese and more bread. So as you can see, I am a bit of a prepper. So don't be discouraged though if you don't have a freezer or a pantry full of food. But I wanna encourage you, if you get a chance to stock up on things, like don't be afraid to freeze it. I love utilizing the freezer. And there's a lot of things that can stay in the fridge for a good long while, like cabbage and sweet potatoes and zucchini, those items, even bell peppers. My red peppers have been in there for a couple of weeks. Um, easy meals. Don't, don't overcomplicate it during this time. Keep it simple. Keep it sane. Um, sometimes it's just easier to go drink a smoothie. That's all right. And yes, the kids do still need to eat, but make them a sandwich. So, I mean, my kids have been happy with having a sandwich on the nights that I'm like, oh, I can't do one more thing. Even though, yes, we have more time on our hands in some ways, but for some of us, it's a whole lot busier with now incorporating school at home and um, just balancing a new normal. Um, we had spring break last week, so it gave us a chance to catch our breath a little bit with having everybody at home. Well, I say everybody. My husband is not at home. <laughs> He's still farming. So, um, it some things are the same, but a lot of things are completely different. So be encouraged. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you want to see a previous video of my pantry, you can look back in the archive. Um, more details of where I get all of those things. I was surprised to find out how easy the sourdough is. Um, I was intimidated by it, but now the big thing is to actually find flour to feed the starter and keep it going. Um, but things like the pizza, we all loved it, enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure you get your veggies in too. <laughs> but yes, for a couple days there, um, we kind of joked about living on the sourdough and all the crossovers, the yummy crossovers. Um, yeah, I was pleased to um, find out today that when I pulled my jeans on that they do fit. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of crossovers, crossovers over here, and we'll be having more crossovers because apples and ice cream are coming up. Um, surround yourself with community during this time. Reach out. I know it's online, but reach out. I really, um, for me, because it's a busier time that I actually didn't have as much communication with some of my mama friends that I normally would because we all have the kids at home now. But um, reach out and don't do this alone. And um, if you're interested, I have group coaching coming up. Our next uh, group begins on April the 12th. We'll be together in the Facebook group on April 5th. And I'll put some of those details in the description of this video. I'll put the link for the THM bundle in the description below. And I'll also add the link um, to my coaching details. So thanks y'all for watching. Take care.